you learn more in the middle of a crisis or when your life has that moment of a downtrot, there is more wisdom and knowledge, instincts, intuitions, discernment, and instincts that are developed in the middle of a crisis. I would say this is the time for you to finish that book. This is the time for you to write and finish those songs. This is a time for you to go online and discover what it is to write scripts. There are a million YouTube videos with people giving you intel and information on how to write scripts. This is a time for you to start recording yourself, auditioning and learning how to act. This is a time for you to go online and watch interviews on some of the most significant and influential actors in the world on a TV show called The Actor's Studio, where they're not just speaking on opportunities in movies, but they're explaining in great detail how they've went about learning and mastering the craft of acting. This is a time that you should go on Apple and download the entire season of Masterclass. You ain't doing nothing else. This is a time to look within, look inward. Outside of you paying attention and monitoring the things that's going on on the exterior, this is a time for us to look to the ex interior. Right now is a time for meditation where you just allow the mind to stand still. If you don't know what it is to meditate because it took me many, many years to figure out what is meditation because there's a lot of different forms of meditation and you're just supposed to sit there and don't say nothing and then you'd be like, well, this ain't working for me. Go on YouTube. You ain't doing nothing else. Look up different forms of meditation and try and figure out what works for you. I am um, in my personal office. I have to tell you, I love being here. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house. And we're here tonight to talk about um, our book club selection, which is, where's my book? Okay, here it is. Uh, we're here tonight to talk about Hidden Valley Road. You know, my mentor, Maya Angelou, used to always say that God put a rainbow in the clouds. God put a rainbow in the clouds. And if there's any kind of crisis, always look for what the rainbow is in the clouds. And I think if there's any rainbow we can find in the clouds right now, it is the fact that we have more time with ourselves and hopefully more time to read. I'm really excited about that and to tell you about this book. You know, my latest book club selection, Hidden Valley Road. This is a book that everybody's talking about and I'm telling you, it's the extraordinary and true story of the Galvin family. Now, they had 12 children. First children started back in the 50s and over the years they had over 12 children and six of those children over time were shown to have schizophrenia. At a time when nobody knew what schizophrenia was, it was devastating and it was a mysterious illness and people really didn't know how to explain to themselves and certainly to their, their families what it was. So. I picked this book because I know that there are millions and millions of people throughout the world and families in particular who are dealing with the shame, with the secrecy, with the fear of mental illness in their own family. How can me as a dancer like take advantage of the, the situation that, that, that's happening just now with everybody being at their homes and stuff for that and, and, and gathering all that attention? Everything I talk about is more important than ever because creating content from home right now is something people can actually do. And the reality is, is that there's such an opportunity right now to tell people your story and to put out content. So. It's always been a content game. Content is what gets people to know who you are to then book 
you, right? Content yeah. is what leads to somebody wanting to manage you. And change. like people change people's careers and people discover people through word of mouth or content. Yeah. Everybody, all eight, 9,000 people in here right now have to produce content. Tell your story, tell people yeah. who you are. TikTok for you, bro. If you're not putting out three TikToks a day, I'm going to punch you in your beautiful face. <laughs> Yo, I got on it, but I fell off it. But Stop. It. Don't yeah. fall off of it. Use this serendipitous moment to get on it. In most uh, places in the progressive world, you own your time. You get to decide what to do for the next hour. You can sell your time to a boss or a client, and then the client and the boss controls your time. What else do you own? Well, one of the challenges that we have as we become adults in the world, and even at 50 or 60 years old become adults in the world, is making the choice to not sell our time so cheap and making the choice to own something bigger than what we're going to do today. And we're living in this crazy upside down world. We're in the middle of a slog. The economy is freezing up. Some people are challenged by health. Some people are challenged by having to deal with their family. All of it is a great excuse to not own anything, to just wait for somebody to show up with a relief check or a client or a job. But I want to argue today that this is the perfect time to own something, to build something bigger than yourself. And what it means to be a bootstrapper is not that you need a fancy venture capitalist to write you a $5 million check so you can go public for a billion dollars. Nor does it mean that you need to go to the bank and personally guarantee some fancy loan by impressing some fancy banker. And what it means to be a bootstrapper is that you find a problem, that you find people who are disconnected who need to be connected, that you find goods and services in one place that need to be somewhere else, that you build an asset and you pay for it because your customers are so happy that you are in the world doing the work you're doing, that they eagerly encourage you by showing up with orders, by showing up with contribution. That that cycle, bootstrapping, which is technically impossible, lifting yourself up by the bootstraps, is not only possible for an entrepreneur, it is the most common, most productive way forward. And so what bootstrapping is, is thinking very hard, not about what your dream is for how you want to spend your day as some sort of freelancer who doesn't have a boss. But what does the audience you seek to serve need? Who, does, who do they need connection to? How do we put together the, the pieces so that we have created value and made the world better? And there are healthcare workers out on the front lines who are suffering right now on our behalf to make things better. And if you can do that, my heart goes out to you. Thank you. But for the rest of us, there's the opportunity to build an entity, a project, one where the people we are serving would miss us if we are gone. This was the first time that I've publicly taught meditation for 20 days in a row. So yesterday we finished my 20 days of live meditations and every morning, 9.30 a.m. LA time, I was live teaching a meditation for 30 minutes. And I, it's so weird because in my head, I'm like, guys, I was a monk. Of course I know how to teach meditation. Like, you know, this is what I did for somebody else. But I've never actually shared it. I've never actually led, I've led like two guided meditations in my whole life digitally. And I lead them all the time with my private communities or my coaching groups or whatever it may be, but I don't do it publicly. And I did it for 20 days and it was like, I was like, wow, like this has allowed me to find out a gift that I wanted to share with people that I forgot I had, mm. or I was immune to the fact that I had it to share. And I'm wondering how many people at this time are going to find that they have a talent, a creativity, an expertise, a genius, a, a gift inside of them that they don't know because they realize that there's a pain in the world that it can solve or that there's someone in the world that it can help. And that was meditation for me, which seems so obvious in my head. But even that, it took this for me to teach it every day. And, and it was the most beautiful, like, I want to do it every day now. Like, I'm so pumped by it because it was such a beautiful experience. I want to start all over again because it was so meaningful to me, let alone the people that it helped. Best time for crisis to get your relationships deeper. Best time 
to get your relationships deeper. Best time to begin to know your guys better. Best time to be talking to your guys better. Best time to get your customer relationship better. Best time for you to be talking to your employees, your teammates, and circulating, and how you doing, what's on your mind today. I was walking and strolling just to see if everybody's okay, and I'm just asking, how you doing? 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 doing? Boom, one of the offices. I walk in, and the person has their hands on their face. I say, how you doing? And she's like, can't even answer me. I said, well, how you doing, everything good? She's in tears. She was crying for two minutes straight. I said, you know what, here, what's on your mind? Tell me, and we started talking a little bit. I said, why don't you go for a walk? She said, you know what, I said, I said, take a break, just get out of here, go for a walk, and just maybe take a break from news right now for a couple hours, because maybe you need to do a media detox for yourself. And she just took the walk, right? And then she came, hey man, thank you for that. I said, no problem, sometimes we need to be doing that. This is where you get your relationships to go deeper. This is the time that you get your relationships to be deeper because some people, and by the way, if you weren't getting your relationships deeper while everything was good, some of that stuff that's in your control, you're gonna pay a price for it right now if you really don't have a relationship with your partners, vendors, employees, salespeople, all that stuff. Because it shows that you were having strong relationship, it's just it matters today more than ever before. If you want more advice, wisdom, guidance from other successful entrepreneurs on how you can navigate the coronavirus situation, check out the video right there next to me. I hope you find it valuable. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Today's business models with companies, it's a similar format.